Let's start our journey in Germany. German experts have come up with an interesting option for repairing drainage systems, sewer manholes and similar structures. In many countries, the annual volume of wastewater is measured in billions of cubic feet, which generates a considerable load on drainage systems. This solution allows a small team to do the job without having to dig trenches, cause unnecessary noise or block traffic. The process is as follows. First, specialists scan the damaged area, obtaining a 3D model. They then use this data to create a perfectly matched detail that simply needs to be installed. They use polyurea, a synthetic polymer that's resistant to wastewater and combines flexibility and durability. This is complemented by a layer of concrete. Next, we have a development from the United States, where the construction industry is highly significant. In September 2021, for example, there were approximately 1.555 million homes under construction in the United States. And the infrastructure also needs to be taken care of. So, American engineers suggest unusual methods to speed up the work without compromising quality. You can see an example on your screen. The system is mounted on a track or wheel loader like a bobcat, and depending on the model, provides a working width from 4 to 22 feet. It assists in handling concrete, screed, and gravel. It's the only product on the market that's so versatile. The manufacturers claim that it requires half the number of workers, and the job will be much easier. The system is already patented, with a price starting at $9,000. Another development from the United States. The manufacturer notes that its products have been used on every continent, including Antarctica, and the total area covered is about 75 million square feet. So, what exactly do they offer engineers and builders? On your screen, you can see a flexible multi-layer fabric that can be reinforced and filled with concrete or other composites. It's often used where erosion protection is needed, on bridge columns, in reservoirs, on shorelines, jetties, spillways and culverts. In essence, it is a giant blanket that's waterproof, UV-resistant, non-toxic and fireproof. So much so that the company's working on the sixth largest nuclear power plant in the United States. If you don't take care of your roof, it will probably end up like this. Fortunately, there's a great repair option made in the US, which has been in use since 1985 and continues to be very popular in the market. On your screen, you can see a ready-to-use roofing mortar that looks like a thick paste or some modeling clay. Just open the box, remove the protective film, and you can start working. The process is five times faster and costs half as much and the mortar doesn't crack, doesn't stratify, and stays flexible throughout its life. It works perfectly in temperatures from 140 to minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, and will also prove useful for sealing gaps and holes indoors. Six colors are available, and a box costs $125. Sounds good, doesn't it? Did you know that Australia set a very unusual construction record? It turns out that this country builds the largest houses in the world. The average new accommodation is about 2,304 and a half square feet. No wonder, as the construction technology in that country is highly developed. In today's video, you can see this unique stay-in-place formwork system. The main feature of the formwork is its ease of installation. The finished panels are slid or snapped into place. This is one of the reasons why installation is done two times as fast, and why the formwork can be used for a variety of tasks, from home additions to sewer installation. The company offers versions from 4.3 to 11.8 inches thick, all of which are fire resistant and easy to transport by hand, eliminating the need for a crane. Next, we go to the United Kingdom, where they built a student residence at the University of York. It's a well-established institution with a long history and more than 20,000 students from over 150 countries. So many rooms were needed. The final project had a total of 1,480 rooms, 
18 separate buildings and a budget of about 150 million, so they could only rely on true professionals. FP McCann, the country's largest manufacturer of reinforced concrete, was one of the companies involved in the project. In the end, the company successfully completed its task, installing 7,177 reinforced concrete elements right on time. In addition, all the elements have a QR code, which simplifies tracking and verification, and the speed was incredible. This four-story, 86-room building was erected in 32 days. Modern stadiums impress us with their capacity, and sadly, their many problems. For example, the mobility of the structure is of great importance, which is ensured, among other things, by these expansion joints. They are important not only in earthquake risk areas, but also in the vicinity of mining operations, and to ensure that the stadium elements will serve their service life without problems. These expansion joints are already used in stadiums such as the Levi's Stadium in the United States, capacity 76,976, and the Basra International Stadium in Iraq, capacity 65,227. The watertight seals made with hybrid components, such as silicon impregnation and foam, are easy to install and range in size from 2 to 16 inches, and the manufacturer is convinced that the product will not only be useful in stadiums, but also in parking lots and even airports. We are going to stop by France to visit the Gismar company. This is the world leader in railroad construction and maintenance equipment. This monstrous machine can lay tracks at a speed of about 656 feet per hour, and it does so as safely as possible, thanks to its remote control. The model has been used successfully on the project for a new stretch of track 7.2 miles long. It's kind of a transformable train. It can move both on rails and on the ground. Several loading platforms are available, providing the lengths from 69 to 138 feet, and the crane can work on its own and can also be used as a stationary crane. Belgium also has several large-scale projects, such as the largest urban gardening research center in Europe, which was built this year. In addition, there are many companies with experience in the construction sector, so the solutions offered by the Belgians are also very interesting. Our selection includes these patented modules, which are the ideal solution for separating and retaining walls. The modules are installed in the simplest possible way. You don't even have to use mortar. It's a cross between a gabby on, i.e. a frame filled with stones and a classic wall. For convenience, each module is equipped with an eye bolt, which simplifies the work of crane operators. The modules range from 1.6 to 6.6 .6 feet in length and weigh between 231 and 2,183 pounds. And for each project, an individual assembly layout is developed to suit the specific working conditions. Tired of mowing the lawn? Then you should consider installing an artificial lawn. It's not only convenient, but also trending. Nowadays, there's a lot of talk about ecology, and caring for a natural lawn requires a lot of water, which has to be pumped, and fuel or electricity for lawn mowers, trimmers, and so on. In the first week after planting, for example, many experts advise using 6.3 to 10.6 gallons of water per 11 square feet every day. Artificial turf offers many advantages. It's wear resistant, doesn't fade, looks natural, and at the same time, excellently conceals any defects in the soil. And if you want, you can install it yourself. And we're back to Germany. We are looking at an invention of a local company, a special cement mortar for repairing concrete structures. It is very useful as there are more than 2,400 bridges and other infrastructure facilities in Germany that require regular inspections. The mortar is reinforced with a polypropylene fiber. It's water and fire resistant, suitable for manual and machine application, and is not affected by the de-icing salt. In addition, the mortar is ideal for both localized, as in the video, and continuous application, and dynamic and static loads are no problem.
it's time to travel to Indonesia, where the construction industry is also very prominent. Among the most important projects are Indonesia's first nuclear power plant, to be built by 2040, and a 9 gigawatt hydroelectric power plant to be built by 2026. The video shows part of the construction of a building, pouring the foundation, installing the walls, etc. In particular, solutions from a German company are used. For example, the watertight AquaSafe system will protect the house from moisture and prevent spending money on costly repairs. The prefabricated basement offered by the Germans can be assembled in three to five weeks, always meeting the deadline regardless of the weather. The following types of insulation are also interesting. Arc flash window flashing, self-adhesive tape in rolls with a polyurethane film backing, liquid filler 2200, a combination of structural adhesive and injectable sealant for filling gaps and seams or for bonding materials, and the flash and wrap 2400, a membrane that can be applied with a conventional roller. Its bright color allows for precise and neat work. Unfortunately, around 80% of the world's wastewater is not adequately treated. However, it is possible to improve this situation, for example, with the help of these biological treatment systems. In this case, they're produced in Russia. The company offers compact options for one or two people, and advanced solutions that can serve 300 people at a time. On the screen, you can see the models of the Ergobox series, perfect for groups of 3 to 10 people. A big advantage is energy independence. If there's no power, the system operates autonomously for a while and then switches to septic mode. A seamless frame and successful technological solutions will ensure the absence of unpleasant odors and a degree of purification of up to 98%. The price starts at $1,300.